today I filmed a holiday glam makeup tutorial for you. It is featuring a cut crease and red glitter lips. Yes, red glitter lips. I've seen red glitter lips go around all over on social media, all over YouTube, Instagram, and I think it's really popular right now. I think it's really cute, very Christmassy, very appropriate for the holidays. I mean, if you want to wear glitter lips to the grocery store, that's totally cool too. I have to go to the gym later and I'm kind of debating whether I should take my makeup off or not because I absolutely am digging the glitter lips. But um, I had so much fun making this uh, tutorial for you guys. It is a full face talk through makeup tutorial. Make sure to like, make sure to subscribe, and make sure to comment. Um, let me know what you guys want to see next. And uh, make sure to like the your favorite comment um, down below in the comment area so I know what is the most requested tutorial so I know what to film next. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And I love you, happy holidays, and enjoy! Okay, so I'm obviously starting with a fresh face with no makeup. Um, first, I'm going to be taking some concealer and I'm going to be adding this to my lid. This is just going to help with um, any discoloration that you have on your lid. I have a lot of veins on my lid and sometimes if I don't conceal them before I apply eyeshadow, it can tend to make my eyeshadow look a little blotchy. And I'm just doing that with my finger. You could use a brush, but I'm just doing it with my finger. Okay, and then I'm just going to be taking some translucent powder and adding that to my lid just to set it. Because if you don't set your base, whether you're using like a paint pot or a concealer or anything like that, what the eyeshadow is going to do is it's going to tug. Um, a lot on um, the concealer like if your concealer is tacky and you try to blend eyeshadow on top of it it's gonna tug and your eyeshadow isn't gonna blend as easily so that's really major key that's major key <laughs> to uh, blending your eyeshadows so today we're gonna be playing around with the Anastasia Beverly Hills modern Renaissance eyeshadow palette it's an absolutely gorgeous palette I have never used this on my channel I don't think we're going to be sticking with the warmer tones today, but if you want me to do another tutorial using like the berry tones, um, well those are warm as well. This is a really warm palette, um, but we're not going to be playing around with the berry tones today. But uh, yeah, so the palette comes with a really good brush, it comes with a dual sided brush. This is going to be the only brush we're using for the eyeshadow. Um, for the cut crease. A lot of people think that cut creases are so hard, but I'm going to show you a little trick. Um, I'm not saying that I invented this trick, but this is how I've always done my cut crease. So um, a lot of people think it's really hard, but what I do is instead of shaping the cut crease solely with just eyeshadow, um, I'm going to be shaping it with um, my paint pot. I'm going to clean up the eyeshadow and kind of create that winged out cut crease shape with the paint pot instead of the eyeshadow. So you can be really messy um, with the eyeshadow. It's kind of like a foolproof cut crease. Um, so out of this palette, I'm going to be taking the first shade um, Burnt Orange, which is this one right here. I'm just going to be dipping into that shade. And usually when I um, do my eyeshadow, I always um, go in like a round, you know, kind of formation. Um, but I'm kind of going to be going like straight out like this. You can be as messy as you want. That's why I'm doing the face makeup last. And we're going to clean it up with a paint pot anyway. So you really don't have to do this if you don't want to. You don't have to do this trick. But you can just go on with your normal eyeshadow techniques and then we're going to clean it up and kind of create the shape with a paint pot. So now that I have that transition shade down, I'm going to be going into the shade Cypress Umber, which is this shade right here if my camera will focus. And I'm going to be taking the opposite end of the brush, which looks like this, and I'm going to be dipping into that color. One thing about um, these eyeshadows is that there's a lot of um, powder kickback, like every time you dip into the shade it just like goes like that so kind of explodes that's okay so I'm gonna be taking the opposite end of the brush okay and I'm going to be applying it slightly above my crease now relax your eye a little bit but kind of 
raise your eyebrows like don't be like this <laughs> kind of raise your eyebrows a little bit and go right above the crease now I will tell you cut creases they are gonna look ugly before they look pretty so you just really have to have patience keep trying and everything will work out on its own because <laughs> right now I'm, I'm sure you guys are like what is this girl doing I'm about to exit out of this tutorial this is not helpful at all but I promise I promise everything will look good in the end believe me guys cut creases are gonna look ugly like look how ugly that looks they're gonna look ugly before they look pretty <laughs> so just give me a chance <laughs> um and just build up this shade to the intensity that you want. Just like that. And then kind of blend it upwards, but don't blend it so high that it covers the burnt orange. Okay. And then kind of blend the two. Together, like marry them. Marry the two shades together. You are now husband and wife. That was super lame, but we're going to keep on going. Just ignore that I said that. And then I like this part to be really dark, so that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so that is what we have for this eye. Once again, just wait, I'm going to show you a trick to make it look less crazy. Okay, so for right now, that is what that's gonna look like. So now this is what I'm gonna, this is the little trick that I'm gonna show you guys. Um, I'm gonna be taking the MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. You could also use a concealer, but I find that this brightens up my lid a lot and really makes the um, lid shade pop. Even though we're not using like a spectacular lid shade, but this really just makes your lid pop a lot. So what I doing? What, what I doing? What I'm doing is I'm gonna be taking a kind of like a short shader brush. This is the Elf flat eyeliner brush, but it looks like this. I'm gonna be taking that and putting some on the lid of the paint pot, and And what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to be cleaning up the cut crease and then just sharpening it. So once again, I'm starting in the center. Okay, see, it's already starting to look a lot better and cleaner. Um, I'm just going to be filling in my lid with the paint pot. Um, just really try your best to clean up under... Try your best to just really clean up under that coat crease. I find cut creases are so much easier this way. Okay, so it's already really cleaned up. Let me fix the inner corner. Okay. It's already nice and cleaned up, and you can tell that, um, you can tell the difference. I mean, if you guys don't like this technique, that's totally fine. Go ahead and keep doing what you were doing, but I find that this is so easy, and it just makes cut creases a lot easier. 
I'm gonna fix the tail of my eyebrow um, to match up with the cut crease in a little bit, but right now I'm just focusing on cleaning up the, the cut crease. Okay, so now that we have the cut crease cleaned up, I re I'm really, really happy with how it looks right now. Obviously, I look crazy because I have no other face makeup on and I don't have lashes and stuff like that, but it will all come together at the end. So, now um, I'm going to be taking a lid shade. Um, I'm going to be mixing Golden Ochre and Tempura. These two shades right here. Tempura, it, you, you would think that it was like a matte shade, but it does kind of have a sheen to it. So, yeah, I'm going to be applying that on my lid. Alright, so now that I have um, set the lid, you can apply a shimmery shade on the lid if you'd like, but I decided to keep it matte. I'm not going to be doing any winged eyeliner or anything, um, just because I really want the focus to be on the lips, even though the cut crease is pretty dramatic. Um, but I'm not going to be doing winged eyeliner, but I am going to a Christmas party and I'm thinking I'm going to do a winged eyeliner for that. So I'm going to do a get ready with me. So if you want to see a winged eyeliner look, that will be my next video. So we're not putting this away yet because we still have to do the lower lash line. But for right now, I'm going to be applying false lashes. I'm going to be using my favorite lashes right now. These are the Coco lashes in Goddess. I've been using these lashes a lot. And I'm going to be applying mascara and I will be right back. Okay, now that I've applied my lashes, I absolutely love how these lashes look. They're very winged out and they really go with the eyeshadow. So yeah, I absolutely love these lashes. So now we're gonna move on to the face. Okay, so now I'm gonna be applying my Maybelline Mountain Pearlis Foundation in the shade 220 Natural Beige. It does not come with a pump, but I took this pump off of a, I think a CoverGirl foundation and I um, put it on here. So I'm just gonna be putting a pump on each side, half a pump on my chin, half a pump on my forehead, and half a pump on my nose. And yeah, I'm gonna be taking my beauty sponge and just blending it all out. Okay, so now that I have all of that blended out, I'm going to be taking my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser um, in the shade Medium. Okay, so to set that, I'm going to bake with my Cody Airspun Powder. This is in Translucent. I always say Translucent. I don't know why. Translucent Extra Coverage. Boom. Set it. Yeah, set it. This powder, ever since I brought it on, on the plane, it like was knocked around in my suitcase and it has gotten everywhere. Okay, so I let that sit for um, like 
a minute or two and now I'm going to brush it away with a stippling brush. If you're wondering why I put it on like the sides of my cheeks, it's because if I don't set, I, I try to use um, the at least amount of powder as possible because I don't want my face to look super cakey and powdery. So um, instead of setting my entire face, I like to set basically under my eyes, obviously, my chin, the sides of my nose, my forehead, and um, right here where my contour goes. Because if I don't set that area, my contour, just like setting a base on your eyes, my contour is going to start dragging and it's going to look really patchy. And I don't want it to look patchy. So that's why I put it there. Let's make it nice and smooth. Give my contour a smooth base. Know what I mean? Okay, so now I'm going to be bronzing, contouring, highlighting, the whole, all the goods. All the goods. So, I'm going to be going back into my NYX Highlight and Contour Kit. Um, as you can tell, this palette is very well, well loved. And I do need to buy another one because I'm already basically out of the banana shade. And I'm almost out of my favorite bronzer shade. So, I have to buy a new one. But for now, we're going to work with this one. I'm going to be taking this first bronzer shade. There's no names on the back or anything, so I don't know the names. So, I'm just going to have to refer to the placement. So this is just going to be to bronze up my skin and add some warmth. I'm not going to be doing any correctional contouring or anything. Um, really just bronzing my skin. And then I'll go in with a cooler tone shade right at the bottom to clean it up, sharpen it up, and um, add more of a shadow. This is just to make me look nice and bronzy. Okay, now that I'm nice and bronzy, I'm going to be taking a shorter, stiffer brush. And I'm going to be dipping into this second color right here. And I'm going to be adding that right under that bronzer shade. Just to sharpen it up and add more of a shadow. Can you tell the difference? Probably not. Probably not on camera, but I always can tell a difference. Oh, see, I can always tell the difference, you guys. Can you tell? It just looks sh like sharper. Okay, and then I'm just going to take like the leftover um, shade and just apply it like, on the sides of my nose. I'm not contouring my nose. I'm just adding some warmth back in the center of my face, really. That's what I'm doing. Because I feel like my nose can kind of disappear in pictures sometimes. So, yeah. So next, I'm going to be applying blush. Um, I don't want to do anything like pinky or rosy or anything. I want to do something super neutral and bronzy. Um, I don't know why, but when I wear red lips, I have to be really bronzy and glowy. I don't know why. I just have to. I don't like pink blush um, or anything like that with red lips, especially if I'm doing glitter lips. You don't want to look like a clown. I don't want to look like Ronald McDonald. I don't want you to look like Ronald McDonald. So I'm going to be taking Max um, Gold Deposit. This is a mineralized skin finish. I absolutely love this. It acts kind of like a highlight for deeper skin tones. But for me, it does highlight my cheeks a little bit. As you can tell, it does add like a glow. It's a really pretty quote unquote bronzer. This might be a little too orangey for my gals that are fair skin. But I like using it as a blush. I really like using it as a blush. So next, I'm going to highlight with Wet n Wild Boozy Brunch Highlighter. I absolutely love this highlight. If you guys do not have this, you have to pick it up. I broke... I bought one of these um, and I brought it on the plane and it broke and I immediately bought another one because I love it. I absolutely love this highlighter. I kind of rotate between the highlighters that I use, but this one, 
I'm really loving this one right now. So I'm just gonna be taking an e.l.f. small table br tapered brush and applying that to the highest points of my cheekbones. And this is my neck. Oh yeah. Now if you have more texture in your skin and you don't wanna emphasize it, I would stick with a more matte highlighter um, or no highlighter at all. Look at that, I mean, come on, how? If I'm not selling this highlighter, I guess that I, I shouldn't ever work in sales because that didn't make any sense. I just pile it on, just keep piling it. But anyways, if you don't wanna um, accentuate any texture in your skin, I would stay away from the shimmery products. If you don't really care, then girlfriend, do do you. Do, do what you need to do. Okay. So now that I'm all highlighted, <laughs> I'm so happy. Okay, so I'm gonna be taking my hair down and we're gonna finish, I'm gonna zoom you back in to finish up the lower lash line and then I'm gonna be doing the lips. I'm so excited for the glitter lips. I hope you guys are excited too. I've never done glitter lips before, I don't think. Uh, I don't think, and if I have, I didn't film it, so. I'm gonna zoom you back in to finish the lower lash line. Okay, so you are up close and personal. We're gonna go back in with the Modern Renaissance palette. I'm gonna be taking the same brush. Um, I'm not gonna do too much on the lower lash line because I don't want it to be like extremely dramatic, but I'm just gonna go in with the flat end of the brush and I'm gonna be taking Cypress Umber, the same darker shade that we use in the crease and I'm just going to be adding that on the lower lash line and kind of connecting it to the um, cut crease but not connecting it all the way. I'll, I'll show you guys what I mean. Put this on my lower lash line and then bring it upwards to the lid but don't connect it. Like it's just really, really the point of this is to make your eyes look really big. And it's kind of like a winged eyeliner, in a way, kind of. If you guys don't like that, you don't have to do it, but I was practicing this cut crease a couple nights ago. If you don't follow me on my second Instagram, which is my beauty Instagram, you would have seen the video. And I did this, and I kind of like connected it to make it look like my crease is a lot bigger than it is, or my lid is a lot bigger than it is. And I absolutely love how it came out. Okay, that's all we're doing for the lower lash line. Make sure to blend it out. You don't want it to be too harsh, but I love how that looks. Okay, so now I'm gonna be taking Primavera, or Primavera. Wait, where is it? Over here. It's this really pretty soft gold kind of champagne color right next to burnt orange, and I'm gonna be applying that on my inner corner, in my inner corner, or on, whatever. And she's just gonna highlight the inner corner. I was debating putting this on the brow bone, but I'm not going to anymore. You guys can do whatever you want. But we're just gonna keep this in the inner corner. Okay. And you can always take the Wet n Wild highlight and do this too, because the colors are kind of similar. You know what, I'll add a little bit. Just a little, just like into bit. Why not, guys? Might as well. Okay. Now I'm gonna be taking um, a lower lash mascara. This is the Rimmel London Lash Accelerator. I really love this mascara because if you have problem with your mascara after a while, like bleeding onto your under eyes, I hate that. I think it looks so bad. And you know what really pisses me off when it like. I have mascara all under, like, smeared on my um, under eyes, and, like, no one tells me. Why do? Why do you do that? Why did no one... I would tell my friend if they had something in their teeth, they had a booger, or anything like that, like, what's good? But, um, I have to do this really close up to the mirror, so I'll be right back. Okay, and while I was 
super close up to the mirror. I applied um, Rimmel London eyeliner in nude it's super tiny because like i've used it so much i used to use it every single day but this just adds to like the doe eyed um kind of effect that i'm going for the cut crease so now i'm gonna zoom me out just a little bit and we're gonna do the glitter lips i hope you guys are just as excited as i am for these glitter lips and i'm sorry i keep touching my hair i have some makeup on my like baby hairs and i don't think that it looks cute I'm so excited to do this. So um, the brand is Tattoo Junkie. I would give you a close-up, but I've used this so much. I've had it for a long time. Um, the label's kind of rubbed off. So um, basically it comes with a red liquid lipstick and it comes with a little uh, red glitter. I've never used the glitter before. Obviously it's my first time using the glitter, but um, I've used this liquid lipstick a lot like I have cosmetology vlogs using this liquid lipstick but in like the purple color which I can't remember what it's called I have a bunch of these colors um a long time ago I absolutely love this formula I go by this formula all the time I have so many colors I wear it all the time and it's so affordable I think I, I've seen it on Target up in New York but I don't know about really anywhere else I'm not sure but um I've seen it at Target I've seen it at Walgreens and I think I've seen it at CVS too don't quote me on that so get your ass up and go get it. Whoa. This is what the glitter looks like. How pretty is that? Oh my god, if that doesn't scream Christmas, I don't know what it is. Okay, so basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the liquid lipstick on and then I'm gonna do um I'm gonna put the glitter on before the liquid lipstick completely dries matte. Um because this this doesn't dry really fast, which is good because it gives us plenty of time to um, put the glitter on. So that's what we're gonna do. I need like a close up mirror. Make sure you have a mirror like close to your like lips so you can really um, get a clean line. Okay, here we go. You can leave it like this, you don't have to put glitter on your lips, but since I'm extra as, then I'm gonna put glitter on my lips. You guys, and it's like I barely have any fallout. I mean, you saw that I it. I really love this because it doesn't get all over the. Fu I have to stop cussing my videos because I know younger girls watch my videos. So I'm really happy with um, how clean it looks. I don't really have to clean it up, but if you do want to clean it up, I would take a uh, short shader brush like this and kind of clean around the edges. And this is the final makeup look. Alright guys, that is it for this makeup tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this full face talk through makeup tutorial. I honestly had so much fun doing it. Like I'm just in a great mood right now and I think I'm going to be in a great mood all day just because I have red glitter lips on and a cut crease. Um, I am going to the gym later and I kind of don't want to take this off. What do you guys think? I hope you guys enjoyed. I will be doing more tutorials. If you want to see something more natural, <laughs> uh, feel free to leave that down below. Um, I want to start doing like polls down below in my comments. So if you see a comment you like, make sure to give it a thumbs up and I will know what is the most requested um, video request, if that makes sense. <laughs> I love you guys. I hope you have a happy holidays. And if you try this look, if you recreate anything, please tag me on Instagram and I would love to favorite your picture and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!